Bordeaux, the state of being what got a pretty bad reputation over the years. Trying to keep up with all that social media apps that we had nowadays, I'm kinda getting to the conclusion that boredom is not that bad of a thing. In fact, from a creative point, that might be a really good thing. Just hear me out. I feel like we're living in an overstimulated world, and sometimes this feels a little bit too much. Keeping up with all these trends of social media, searching through the fake news which one might be true, and jumping from a device to other, getting a little bit too much. And all these are here for us to keep us distracted, but we don't have enough time for ourselves. While I was searching for an antidote, I came across of this quote which says, Let your brain to be born, creative people sometimes just need to sit and do nothing. So in the next couple of days, I want to see how my mind would react or might change if I embrace this boredom. I will take one or two hours from every day just to sit and be bored and I'm really curious how my mind reacts. If it's a detox, if I would like it, if I will hate it, I'm really curious how it's gonna end up. Day one and I was doing good. I was doing good for the first like 10 minutes I think and then out of habit I was just reaching for my phone and like my body doesn't cooperate with what I supposed to do. This state of mind can be achieved also by doing mundane things like doing your dishes, folding your clothes, going for a walk, just to allow your body to go on autopilot and your mind to go somewhere else. This is why the best ideas comes for example when you take a shower or when you travel and you don't really think about anything else. The main idea is just to not reach for your phone to help pass the time. So it's been a week now and I have to say that over the time these two hours for myself is getting easier to achieve and I don't have to focus that much on don't getting distracted but I really find it interesting how in such a busy world you have to focus to not be distracted and to chill I think if I can say it like that and overall I think this if you want to unlock again your creative side you have to find pockets of free time in your daily schedule so you allow to your brain to wander somewhere else and just to be creative just to use your imagination and just to have more time for yourself i think i know that for some people maybe this me time and being alone with your own thoughts it can be scary a little bit but you have to do this for your inner peace and just to clean your mind to clean your soul to have a little bit of time with your own thoughts to get to know yourself. I really think we are running from our free time when we are supposed to talk to ourselves, to get to know ourselves. For some reason this went scary. Overall I think this was a good experiment for me and I'm really planning to keep, to keep doing it if not every day but at least 3-4 times a week. This is a good exercise to keep your brain working and to keep your imagination and productivity and creativity alive. If you like this video, please consider subscribe, hit the like button and thank you for watching. See you next time.